join right away. But he's listening on Facebook. All right. All right. Does anyone know a good barber online? Who? <laughs> oh my head. <laughs> Start wearing hats, man. Look at that, man. <laughs> Start wearing hats, man. Okay, I'm just refreshing to see if it's working yet. My interwebs hopefully pulls through. Ah, okay. Looks like we're live on YouTube. And let me check Facebook. Yes, okay. We're live. So yeah, if you guys want to share the links, um, let me see. Ah, okay. Looks like we're live on YouTube. Da -da -da. <laughs> so here's the Facebook video. I'll just drop it in the chat for you guys. If you want to just share it with your folks drop it in the chat for you guys and then this one is YouTube just in case it, you know you, you don't we're not connected or whatever all right cool it looks like we're a bust as we say in touring <laughs> we're we're all we're all ready to go we're all on um what's up everybody what's up um josh what's up um david we're looking forward to you joining us so we can nerd out about jamulus um yeah so marcelo did you want to talk about your experience with jamulus this week and, and pedro and I was thinking maybe we could even experiment with it. I don't know, like this is, we're just kind of riffing today a little bit more and it's like, I think less structured. Well, not that the other weeks were structured, but yeah, Marcelo. Yeah, sure, Marcelo. I had a, a band experience um, that was quite interesting. And um, I think as, as I kind of foresaw and we talked about it, I think two weeks ago, um, I think the problem lies in within uh, within a connection where you know ev everyone's got different connections and different servers and everything and what it does is, is it, it looks for the nearest uh, server <clears throat> but like there was this guy in, in the borough that's kind of um, near me about I don't know two or three miles and uh, sometimes the connection would go bad and every time it, it kind of interferes like if, if someone has a has an issue it has an issue for everyone so you had you have to carry on playing like if there was nothing happening and it's quite funny but when it works it's really good because you can actually jam together for a while so it's really cool when you you know i think maybe you guys had it had a jam the other day but it was all um electronic right I don't know if um not really we're like playing real instruments but but All tell right. me the people you're playing with were they in brazil or yeah yeah they're all, they're all yeah. In yeah yeah so i think w one thing uh we got like the experiment with roy and david it's like the best way is if you set up your own server like the one that has the best connection you have to set up your own server so yeah, this way you can have like a way shorter route. Did you do that? Yeah, there's one. Uh, there's one guy that has, you know, his uh, his own server, and then we all respond cool. to the server. And it, it was kind of, you know, tracking out yeah. in and out, and and uh, that would generate a lot of latency. But we just carry on playing until sometimes we had to stop, but just carry on. Just, just, you know, like, yeah. Late. Yeah, we felt. Um, I mean, especially for me, because I'm in Brazil and they were in Sweden and Germany. So for me, there was a higher, higher la latency. But yeah, this game is for only people that have fiber connection, like real, yeah. real good internet, like something over 300 
uh, megabytes. You know, anything below that, it it's going to be hard to have a reasonable experience. That's yeah, what we've 100. been learning. How much is yours right now? 120, but they've been delivering. I mean, that's download. Upload's been around 10. Yeah, so definitely fiber optics. And uh, maybe David and Roy, oh, there's Roy. They can share their experience. They have getting like really low latency amongst themselves and with other people close to them, like mm -hmm. something really doable. But anyway, my experience playing with them was really oh, it was like, oh, that's awesome. I'm, I'm actually making music with another person, like a real human being. I'm playing with a human, he, real human being. And what's so cool to see like make a musical idea and see them react like in real time pretty much. So, and I could feed them their ideas and, and vice versa. So it was a, a really awesome experience. And and even even though there was some latency, you no, know, I felt like I was playing together. I, I, was, I was getting like 300 milliseconds latency, that's a lot. But the feeling was like, well, yeah, we're kind of playing together. Either I'm learning how to play with latency or I don't know, but the end result was pretty good. And these guys, they're like showing off, man. They're like, here, is this a sitar? So it's like someone brings a real sitar in the room and there's like, it's a, synth sitar and then drums and then so these guys were like really amazing musicians so the overall experience even though the technical limitations were like really cool yeah man sync is the future yeah and what i'm think, feeling from here is that if we, if we can add to that uh able to link remotely then you're wow. gonna be in a pretty good place say what That'd be amazing. Yeah. So like it's well, we are always going to have like this latency going on and off, but at least if our computers are trying to go back in sync, you know, then we can do a lot of that. I can add to that just to say, hey, guys, uh, uh, it was really, really nice. The, the best thing was when we when we uh, started, like one of us started a session in, in Ableton, uh, like a loop. And this was uh, staying steady, and then the other guys just joined that, uh, which was a lot easier than some guy uh, uh, playing a beat by himself, and the other ones tried it. That was a, a bit, a bit, a bit, uh, a bit uh, difficult to do, because I was tr tr trying that at the beginning, like to play live, live drum beats, and this was really hard. And then I just put some, some loop. And it was really, really brilliant. And uh, the only problem with this thing is it's, which, that it's really addictive. And it's because it's so much fun. So you're like staying hours and hours and hours there. And, and it's really enjoyable. Yesterday I also had like, it was one o'clock in the night, I think. This is something now I do every, every night before I go to bed, like, like 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock until one. And I'm, and I'm setting myself, okay, only one hour. And yesterday was just brilliant. It was all, all, jazzy stuff free and i and the cool thing about it as a as a musician that uh, um played many many jams um the problem with jam sessions is as a drummer is that you 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 always have to wait you're like waiting for for the for the other guy to stop playing i think i think marcelo will will agree on that you're playing until you're waiting until the other guy will stop his his uh, his, his playing and will end you over the sticks which which here you like you like you're free and you have yeah. all all the best tools in, in the world and you're in Ableton and you can open like a complete and like you said uh, it was a sitar and you can open a, a violin and you have all the instrument in the world of course you really need to listen and you, need, you really need to be sensitive and the good thing is that you also have like a mixer that you can like uh, um, lower the the other guys or make them higher volume. So you have full control over the the other guys, uh, and it's just magic, really. It's it feels like you're with them in the room, and it sounds really good. And uh, of course, it de depends on the latency and how far you are from the server. Uh, but it's just it's mind blowing how good it is. So, right, was was where was everyone in the, in your jam? Yesterday, you where they the were in they were s s similarly close. They were like uh, most of them were in Europe. 
It was France. It was England. Uh, some guy from from Italy. The Italians are really really hot on that, and they're really really good also. And they're playing a lot of like uh, like uh, acoustical stuff. There was a brilliant guy uh, from from Paris who made like vocals, uh, which was br- really really cool. It just it just it just said text inside. It was really really good. It was really enjoyable. So you set yourself like one hour, you know, I, 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 I start, started like to feel like, like in an o- o- online game, you know, that you're like drawn and drawn and drawn and you say to yourself only half an hour and then like an hour, hour straight and then two hours, three hours. But it's just like you, you're getting what you need. And I think it makes you also better because you're in real time playing. So you react to real people. It's not like you're sitting and you're doing your session and you're making a beat and then you make like a melody or bass line or stuff. You're just here, you're like reacting to real thinking people. So it's not, so it o- automatically makes you a better musician in a way. Uh, so I can only recommend it for people who, people who know how to play, also people who, who doesn't know how to play because there were a lot, there, there were many people who just made like uh, drones and like effects and vocal and it was. How many people are there in the session? Yeah, yesterday it was uh, nine people. Nine wow. People. Yeah. And it sounded good? It sounded brilliant. And, and uh, I, I actually made a, a recording. Like a train wreck? Sorry, so, no, no, it sounds good. It sounded good. Because p- people know that if they're, if they're, if they're, if they're uh, not playing good or just making noise or such, the other ones will just take their <laughs> volume down. And no one wants the, the other guys to lower his volume and not to hear him. And, and have him like play by by himself so everyone is uh, pretty pretty sensitive to to each other and uh, I I made actually a, a recording of two two days ago I need, I need to look look it up and uh, it sounded it sounded cool so I was really happy I'm very like yeah. and right did you I'm sorry did you actually turn on um, like a zoom meeting or something to get some visual feedback? No, no, it was all, it was all uh, audio, which in some way was good because you're at home. You're like in your p- pajamas or something and you got all, all your thing and you got push and everything. And you just want to be in your, in your zone, but you know that people listen to you and you, and you listen to people. So you like co- communicating uh, uh, in, in, in your best, uh, best uh, state. Yeah, no, I can't. Like home and you can have coffee and you can have all your stuff. And you're there, and you know you don't, you don't, you're not owing nothing to nobody. You're just playing. You're just there to have fun. So, cool. Oh, cool. La, I, 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 Laura, I, I can see on smile, and I can only re- recommend you to come with your violin there and to just join. I know you too. guys didn't invite me, so you know. Hey, I did. I did. What the hell? You all invited. Don't invite. Please come. Actually. We- when we could try to do it today, I mean, what do you guys think? Is that something that we want to try today, or is that like? I already forgot app- what the app is. What is it? Jamulus. The thing is, we need to just to look how we route the audio from us to there, because you can. Sorry. Let's start. Yeah. <laughs> and we're back. It's a THX ad. What is he got? All right, that, that's the official Ableton server. What do you have there, Pedro? What was that? Oh, sorry, guys. Know. It started raining, so it wet. Uh, my my push got wet, and my keyboard. <laughs> so. Oh uh, yeah. And I forgot my mic. My mic open. It was the rain. Yeah, it was the rain. So I got a little, a little agitated. <laughs> so sorry. That's cool. So we need to check our routing. I think we should try. We can try to do a, to do some some session maybe. Yeah. Okay. All right. So like, let's let's walk through this for the people that are watching as well. So, yeah, so let's let's show people how, called... how it. Looks. Yeah. Well, why don't you show us, Roy? Since you're. Well, I, I'm I'm not like, like an expert now. I mean, it seems like you are. You've been jamming every expert, night yeah. with nine people. Dude, it was it was nice. Let's see. So uh, let's go to the website of Jamalus. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Jamalus, let me get. You want to share your screen? I, I would love to. First, I need to go there, so we will not. Okay, uh, you just hide away any you know stuff that you yeah, don't want the world to see right now. The right. 
so okay here we are world gemless software this is how it looks yes. like yeah here we are it looks like in all these uh all these like uh guitar lessons school look with this uh cheesy cheesy zoomy bananas Yeah, um, not very uh yeah it's not very inspirational when you doesn't, can... <laughs> doesn't look very very promising but it is it is uh you download it here of course then it comes to your thing here and then you can open it here down there and then you're like when jamless and it looks like really beautiful gooey and uh, uh what you need to do you need to connect yourself here and then you're getting a list of ser servers can you can you see that on your screen lists of servers and you just need to tell yeah. it uh, which uh, sound card you should use in my case I have like uh, this LB it's like the loopback for Ableton so loopback let's say uh, in from Ableton so it's it's like trial and error sometimes it works flawlessly sometimes not what I'm doing is I've always a lot of times this is something I learned from David uh, like uh, uh, have the zoom as the As the output for for Ableton let's try that now let's see if you guys getting some um, some uh, sound so you just click here you connect and here are here they are all the all the people and when I do agree tell me if you can hear them I can't let's see maybe I will just put it in the zoom here let's see. so when you're once you're playing you're gonna see this you see I think they can hear us now see this is my uh, output to them so they can hear us and that's my name uh, electric so now I cannot hear them because uh, it can be that they're not playing or they're just talking there is also a chat here somewhere where's the chat Pedro you know the chat here the chat is here and you can just write with them while you're playing you have a profile so you can just write your name your thing where you are expert not really none and you could just hear they're they're playing now but we cannot hear them let's see so that's the thing I need to route it but that's the only thing which is a, a bit of a pain is to route all this mess uh, in the right way so oh yeah see, I have this let's get into this let's get into especially, this. especially so for the gemless it's gonna be really really nerdy right now so let's try it virtual devices what we're living for right now let's run jamalus where is it we're gonna do some views here let's see uh, normally it should show here on the side but I actually made one for this guy it's that one so this one okay Can you still hear me now? Yeah. yeah. Cool. So this is from them. So let's see. I will put it here. See if we can hear them. They're not playing at the moment. I think they got bored of us. So we go to another uh, another uh, server. Let's try this one. And then you can see how many people there, there are there. Paris. This is a guy from Paris. You can see the, the, the countries of the people who play there. Somebody plays the flute. What's that? Let's see what's up. <clears throat> what he wants. So that's the thing. Got zoom in, standard out. I really, really tried to record it directly, but I ran into some, some problems here. Because there was like a standard input output that you need to do. So let's see. No, now it's working. Can you hear it? No. Can you hear it? No? No? You can hear it? We can okay. hear your voice. Okay. Um, okay. So you can hear it. I, 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 I heard it. Let's try to do a zoom in, zoom out. Let's give it another chance. Let's see if this will work now. I heard them. There is really not. Can you hear it? No. But are you sending it back to Zoom or 
No, because you're, you, you're. I guess you can't hear it. You can't, right? You didn't hear it. Did not hear it, no. No, I can't even hear you. So let's go back, let me go back. So to you, Johnson. At least. So we're in a mess. Are you guys here? Right. I think you're going over. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, I hear something now. Okay. So it's a mess, guys. It's a mess. You just need to uh, to get used to the mess. Here we are. The routing is the, is the pain. You just need to get yourself with the routing. Right, right, right. Okay, yeah. I'm so, I'm so glad right now that I'm not <laughs> the only one that messed someone else's jam, someone else's meeting. <laughs> it was funny because I was in the room as well, listening. And so the guys were jamming, playing beautifully, and there's Roy. Hey, 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 can you listen to me? Can you hear me? <laughs> no, they yeah, were not yeah. so pleased. They were not so pleased, but it's okay. No, but, it, but it's a good thing that they have my volume so they can just take me down. If I'm disturbing, because a lot of people right. are are coming there like boosting with like uh, like 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 feedbacks, you know. You're, you're playing and then you hear like somebody on loop back with his with his uh, with his sound card, then you hear like a huge monstrous feedback. It, it, it happens like once in a once in half an hour. Yeah, but it's nice. It's yeah. worth the, the price of getting getting it. Uh, I think a complication. So it's mm -hmm. worth the price. Which yeah, I think I think it'd be really cool if we work we work on some like tutorials like cookbooks, you know, how to put to to install the software and how to connect to a server, how to route your audio. Because there are these little things that are technical, they're not so obvious. And it gets messy, you know, because you wanna you wanna listen to the app, but you wanna you don't wanna listen to direct monitoring, you wanna listen after the latency and yeah. I, you know, no, you. I'm as soon as I have the time, I try to work on something like that. Yeah, and the thing is that you want them to hear you, but you hear them. So you don't want them to hear you hearing them. In theirs, you know, it's like it will be like a chain of, a chain of mess. So you just want uh, uh, them to hear you plain without them hearing you hearing them. I hope I I made myself clear. I can say yeah. it again. Sir. No. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, I think I think. I understand that part, but all everything else that you kind of flew by, I mean, it might be nice to just like start from the beginning, you know, just for our audience. Cause I think that they're wondering like, how did you even get <laughs> that big loop back session or like where you are? I just don't know if we would be able to hear it through zoom. Are we going to be able to like reroute it to zoom? If like, say for instance, a few of us got on Jamulus right now, yeah. Like, and how could we reroute, reroute it so that they could hear it? I think we need to work on it on the fly to do it now without like preparations will be a bit uh, a bit of a bit of time. Uh, we, we're gonna we're gonna need some time for that. You see, for me, like to do it super fast and like to have all the routings. We got all the time in the world, though. Well, I know, I know. Uh, I just got like an electric kazoo. Here. I just got an electric Sorry? kazoo, so that'll be my my uh, addition to the jam. It's over here somewhere. It's pretty crazy, actually. Is it MIDI based? No, it's audio. It has like a little pickup on it, little microphone, and this little kazoo. So I'll play that if we can get it to work for sure. It'd be fun. I thought it was gonna be like those eluz or whatever. Put your mouth <laughs> no, on it. No, it's not that fancy. It was like sixty dollars on Amazon. Maybe the, the only thing we need is just one guy, like or a girl of us to stream it on his on his platform because we don't yes, need I, all of us right right, right. i don't think i should do that because i'm already streaming all this stuff so okay. it'd be great if someone else could volunteer to be that pedro person. Luke, I, exactly I would like for the job I would. Pedro looks the, like the, the guy yeah, pedro. what do you want what do you want me to do i want you to route, you route in, in the world the into your, yeah into your uh, can you route? share your screen and and bring up Jamulus and just like talk us through it as if we know nothing because a lot of us don't know anything and then our audience as well and then we can try to get Dan's kazoo in the mix and um you know 
I don't cool. know. I got, a, I got a pan around here and a pot. I could back on. Oh, right. you, you, you guys yeah. need just to log in there, right? Right. You just need to log. First of all, you need to download this small software, which is yeah. on this website uh, uh, from, the, from the 70s that I just showed you. Yeah, and then you I downloaded it. it. Yeah. Install it. And then you're going to connect yourself to a, one of the servers that we are go all going to agree upon, uh, which yeah. has the yeah. lowest ping, which is really important. You're going to see the ping there. Am I sharing my screen still? I'll still share my screen. What's your server right here? This is how it looks. So it's like that. So once you install it and you open it, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see this gray, your, this mouse gray thing. And then you're going to click on connect. And then you're going to see this list of servers. And you see the ping time. So the lowest will be uh, the best for you. And then you will have the, the, the uh, less latency. You see, uh, uh, but you also need to make sure that someone is there because at the moment in this room there is only one musician which is looking at himself. Uh, but uh, then you go down and you see like six musicians in Paris and the ping is not the best, which means it, it might be uh, noisy a bit. So here you have two people, and which is okay because you, you start something with two people and then uh, many more people join. So you all, all you need to do is like... A, a, connect here and then you're there but before you do that you need to go to the in the settings here to this screen and to tell Gemelus uh, which uh, sound card you have so I have uh, quite a few stuff here because I also have loopback this is what I was trying to do before and then you, d you didn't hear me because I was gone uh, uh, you just cho choose your routing where is the in where is the out so if you're uh, on, on Ableton uh, you can choose your output from from Ableton and uh, sorry the input from Ableton to go inside here and the output to go to your uh, sound card in order for you to hear it make sense yes so I was then, thinking by the routing yes. I was trying to do this too so yeah. I, I was thinking that my that the input to Jamulus would be the output from either live or my card but you're you're talking about the output of Jamulus going to my speakers, and so what is the the input from Jamulus or the input to Jamulus would be what? What I'm seeing here is the input uh, here in, which means you're putting something in here. That's the input. You see the input, so that's the input. Yeah. You're choosing yeah. what you're what you're what you're feeding in. And output means where you're gonna listen to it. This is this is like the, the the common sense of how I understand it. Yeah, at the just, moment I, I, I'm the same as you. I have like 42 different things in that in that device list, and so the thing that seemed like it would make sense didn't work. So I was just just asking for some clarification. So I can make it maybe try to share my settings. Can you guys see you guys? I want to see you guys as well. Can you guys see my screen? No, I think uh, Roy needs oh, to stop hearing first. So I'm here. I have two screens here. I'm Better actually not. Shot? Okay. We, we are, um. Yeah, I'm not sharing my screen through Zoom. I'm actually fitting it through my webcam, kind of. Can you guys see it okay? Or should I? Yeah. Yeah, cool. So, my settings, when I go into settings, I'm using as the input, I'm using Streamloop. Streamloop is a device, a virtual device that I created in Loopback. And where I put all my stuff in, that's where Actually, I put it. Actually, wait, 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 hold on. Uh, our audience can't see your screen this way. They can't, they're gonna see it small. Okay, yeah. so carry it through Zoom. So Roy would need to stop sharing first. No, hey, I stopped. I'm already yeah. gone. Oh, oh, okay. I'm not sharing anymore. Is that better? <laughs> Actually, I was looking at the Facebook and it was uh, had a lag. So <laughs> where are we looking? <laughs> it is a mess. Okay. okay. So Pedro, stop we're here. Me. Back to you, Pedro. Okay, cool. So f as for my input device here in Jamulus, I've chosen Streamloop. And as for the output, 
I have chosen my audio interface that I'm using where I have my headphones connected, where I have my speaker connected. And to Streamloop, Streamloop is, <clears throat> is an aggregate device, which means I'm putting a lot of stuff together into this virtual audio device, and that I'll be feeding into Jamless. That's the same thing I'm doing right now with Zoom. So what do I have inside Streamloop? I have Ableton Live. If I place something on Ableton, it's gonna go through. Something very nice. And... The official sound of the Ableton Survey Trader Mastermind. <laughs> And I have Google Chrome. If I open like uh, a page on YouTube or whatever, I can share that sound as well. And I have Gemulus right now. So whatever comes from Gemulus output, it's gonna come in here and I'm gonna feed it through. Uh, that's, I just added this one in, if I was like to feed the audio to you guys through Zoom. If it's not the case, not, I'm not going to use that one for using Gemless. And I also have Spotify that I can stream through. So with this uh, virtual device, I aggregate, I put everything together in a device called Streamloop. And that's what I use inside as the input for Gemless. So besides that, <clears throat> we're always going to try to have the buffer delay as small as possible so you can have a uh, small latency. And I've always used the settings to auto because I'm not very confident that I can tweak it. And I'm using here everything maxed out. So audio channels, I'm feeling stereo and high audio quality. And I don't know what's that for. So, and here's the little chat. It's very useful to talk quickly with people on the, on the room. And when we hit connect, we see a bunch of servers. So ideally, you're gonna look for a server that's close by and has a, a small ping time. This way, you're probably gonna have a lot less latency. You're gonna have a better experience over while playing. So there's, there's some Brazilian servers I didn't know of. That's cool. Jamify Brazil, let's try that one. There is no one in the room. And now I think you hear like a double voice because it's my original voice and the voice, oh, okay. And the voice coming from Gemulus with a bit of delay. I just hear you. <laughs> oh. Now, now yeah. I do. The remix. That yeah. was nice, yeah. Pedro. That was even better than the pum. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have to repeat on that? Whenever that is open, we have some info down here on the ping time and overall delay. So I'm gonna disconnect. Yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. And one last thing I can put out is in Ableton, um, like I might turn off monitoring because I just wanna hear uh, the sound that's coming after Gemulus, I if I wanna hear the delay sound, if that's the case. So yeah, that would drive me crazy, huh? Yeah, because you know. So I don't know. I, the first time I jammed with, oh, I thought you were seeing my screen. Uh, sorry, right here. So I probably want to try to have the monitoring off, so I don't hear the direct sound. So the sound goes through, through Jamulus and stuff, and then I only hear the way back. That's I don't know. I, I tried with that. It was kind of with Roy and David was way too far, so it was not possible. Maybe if you have really low latency, that would be usable. Or you just listen to the direct sound, and and then the slapback of the the other signal that's coming from from me away and back. So sorry, Pedro, I missed how you how you eliminated the delay. I eliminated the delay. I didn't eliminate the delay. I just uh, stopped hearing to the direct input monitor. I only hear to the output of Gemulus. That's how I'm gonna hear. Yeah, but Live it's with, the, with latency because you hear what they hear. Yeah. Right. So that will be late. So w what I did, I just I just heard myself through Ableton, which was immediate. 
because I was playing like a, like a, a sequenced loop, which was great. And then I heard all of them and they were kind of in sync with me. So I heard them at the same time with me and I just made an output uh, for all of us without them hearing me. This is why it got complicated. That's why, that's why my loopback looked like a mess. But I was able to hear myself directly like I'm, I'm on Ableton uh, uh, and hear them at the same time. And it was flawless. It was really, really good. Yeah, in theory, you have to hear yourself as without uh, any latency. So you, yeah. you can spot what's going yeah. on if there's latency. But at the moment, I'm, I'm having lots of delays. It's like, it's like if, I had a, if I had a tape delay happening and I can't spot where it's uh, bringing back the audio. You also need to make sure that your volume, your, your volume here on the, on the server is down because at, at default it's, it's on. Yeah. So you need to take it down first so you will not hear yourself again and again. So maybe this is what you're hearing. I have a question. So now we know how to connect to a server with a, uh, with a low ping is recommended. But how do we make our own server to do a private jam? That's a great question. And David, the, the father of Jamulus, the guy who... The guy who father. Showed, showed uh, he says he can't get on right now. I'm like, where are I'm on now. now. I'm oh, on wait, now. You're here. Oh, sh he tell us, sure. David, tell us. Uh, no, well, I, I'm not that wizard. Um, uh, I'm, uh, at the moment, I'm, um, I was listening to you on Facebook and at the same time uh, thinking really hard about how to route this so we actually can stream a jam into Zoom. And I'm yeah. still thinking and I'm pulling cords and I'm <laughs> turning knobs, but um, setting up a server is not really hard. Um, you, need to, um, um, you need to have a public IP address, that's the thing. And then you're just, uh, well, like Roy is, uh, no, Pedro is showing. Um, he ran up a server. If you're on PC, it's a separate um, um, application. It's a different application, but on Mac, you uh, um, you tell it. Uh, so I server. can do it again here. All yeah. that I do was open up terminal. I open up a terminal window, and I have the command here already. So it's pretty much J minus minus S. And that's going to open me a server with like a, a GUI, a visual interface, a graphic interface. Right now, I have no one connected and stuff. And I have their other option, which is uh, no GUI. It's just going to be running there in the terminal. And that's all you have to do. And then you find out your IP and you share it with your friends. Okay, so can you do that so we can join you? Um, so this Thinking thing about, about IP addresses is that I don't feel comfortable to share my IP address because I've opened a port on my router to do this so it can be a server. And so if I share that, I'm going to have a serious security breach. I'm going to be vulnerable Let to... Let those Russian bots in. Yeah. Makes sense. So for experimenting here, I suggest we try a uh, public server. This way it's going to be safe for everyone. Okay. David. Talk or to some us. of us, uh, sorry. Um, some of us maybe could share an IP not in public, but if anyone shows their screen, the IP address is there. So. Uh, but at the same time, I'm just thinking, I, I have two computers in front of me and I should be able to run Jamless on one and stream all the audio to the other one where I'm in this Zoom meeting. Um, it <laughs> would be possible, but it's also if you take um, a public server, it's really hard to find one that um, a lot of us have a short ping time to, um, I believe. But um, let me think for just a moment. Um. Yeah, so in general, no, the, the technology is there. The, the software is not that ready, you know, it's kind of clumsy, but it's open source and 
it does work. And so let's holler to the developers who have the, the knowledge to improve such an such an software, you know, it's good. It, there's a future in there, I think. So is this the best software option available right now for this purpose? I believe it's the best because it's the simplest. So it's just um, hardcore streaming directly to another IP address, not um, taking the detour f of another server or something, trying to sync things up or whatever. Um, therefore, I think this is the best because it's uh, the most basic or what should you say? Um, that's the best thing I've tried so far, at least. Cool. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've tried some other things. I think Dan, Dan Giffen's you here online. I tried uh, his partner's um, software. Now you now you hear dot me. Now you hear me. Yeah. And now you hear dot me. Yeah. Yeah. And I spent some time with Ben uh, on Skype as well. And that was really cool. I learned a lot. And, but yeah, his, his software depends on some open source, like OBS or other softwares. And, oh, okay, let me stop sharing my screen. And so these this softwares get updates or not, or they get old and it's hard to keep up. So I couldn't really get it working but my experience with him was great and I really learned a lot about Audis technology because he has been digging into it like really deep. And I also tried one that Roy suggested me, how's it called? Uh, Doof? No, Which one? the other one, the, but it just crashed my Ableton Live at try, every time oh, I tried. Oh, it's called, I think, uh, Studio Gate, you mean? Studio Gate, yeah. yeah. So there's this, the other options I saw were just little uh, startups or some open source initiatives. So, yeah, I couldn't find anything better so far. Yeah, I have a list. Is my mic okay now, by the way? Not it... really. You, you like... sound like you have Redux, you know, the yeah. Redux plugin. Yeah. I mean, device. I think I need to restart my Apollo because I opened up Loopback and it fucked with it. Loopback yeah, it's like a four. Back to... Yeah. Anyway, I'll be back. Carry on without me. I'm going to restart my Apollo. Okay. So you guys, how many of you guys are using Loopback right now? Raise your hand. Maybe I should look into that. Looks interesting. <laughs> you should, man. You should how much really is Loopback again? It's like 150. Okay. There you I'll, go. I use yeah. sound well, I'm, just might, I'm just on my, on my shitty MacBook mic now. But Loopback does, has caused some issues for me, I will say. Like just now when I opened it up, I had everything off. Like I didn't even have any of my settings on. And that's when it started to fuck up my mic. And then the other day I was trying to um, stream something and it wasn't coming through. And then all of a sudden the signal just started coming through Loopback from live and nothing had changed so i've had some weird little issues with it but like overall i mean it's a dream if you want to route a bunch of different things but it just kind of has these little tiny issues for me are you, guys, are you are you on one or two i'm on two is anybody else using sound siphon i'm a big fan of sound siphon tell us about it uh, it looks kind of like loopback. Um, I'll drop it into the chat. It's uh, it's staticz.com slash sound siphon, but it's like 59 bucks or 60 bucks. So it's a little cheaper, but I haven't had any problems with it. Um, big fan. Here's the, uh, here's what it looks like. I guess I could share my screen real quick, but. Go for it. Please. Can you um let me pull it up so i mean this is the website uh basically kind of looks like loopback in the sense of like the way you have the flow and you just can like drag chords and inputs and outputs and create a bunch of aggregate devices um and then you can record locally to your computer with it if you wanted to um 
So yeah, it's pretty simple. It's pretty easy stuff. It looks a lot like loopback, sort of. I think it looks prettier, it but does. Bias. like a clone. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. And how reliable is it? It's never crashed on me. Has it um, caused any uh, inconsistencies when you're trying to connect stuff and like you just can't hear it? Like actually I'm describing a typical scenario with uh, loopback. Sometimes you have issues. I haven't had any issues routing my browser with Chrome into like OBS. Um, I've even used it in tandem with like Soundflower just to get weird. Um, but yeah, I think it's only Mac. Yeah. I think it's only Mac. But yeah, I, I like it. Yeah, I haven't had any major problems. That doesn't mean you won't. So don't hate me later if you buy it. But <laughs> I haven't had any issues using it with OBS and routing different tabs and browsers and applications. So huh. yeah. Cool. Uh, Dan, what, what encode are you using? Is it um, OBS in uh, Ecamm? Uh, yeah, I am. I'm using uh, my, I have my camera running through OBS uh, with the Ecamm Cam Link, or I'm sorry, not Ecamm Cam Link, uh, Elgato Cam Link. Um, and then I'm using either Soundflower or Sound Siphon. Uh, I just got the new one. I updated because they have Sound Siphon 3 now. Um, but I'm just using that in OBS. I've been wanting and to play with Yellow Duck. Yeah, let, yeah we may I ask you? Last week. How how are you routing your video from OBS to Zoom? Oh, I'm not actually routing OBS into Zoom. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm I'm just using OBS when I'm live streaming to like YouTube or Facebook or like Restream. I use right. Restream now. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think you can do it with Restream. There's a article i actually haven't tried that but i need to really like restream into zoom there yeah well obs using obs and restream to get into zoom that's awesome i'll check that that's out. a paid software right restream that's what we're using right now yeah. to stream to the multiple platforms mm -hmm. and then um pedro had an issue with yellow duck though do you want to share oh that's like, bummer yeah. yeah, so I, I actually did my first live uh, stream last Sunday. And the day before, I got some really good help from Laura. I was trying out Ecamm, and she helped me out, like, debugging it and stuff. And we were kind of both learning it together. And I also tried um, um, Yellow Duck. So... Yeah, so just to share, I have a really good experience with Ecamm. That's what I'm using right now to stream through Zoom as well. And with that, I can do a bunch of stuff. Like I can easily add overlays. And I can like play a clip. Um. And I can show some, and I can also put some, like a video oh, on the loop. People can't see it when you do it there. Oh no? Yeah. Should I share sure. screen? Yeah. Okay, let's do this again. I mean, do you guys want me to go over you came? I just went yeah. starting. Yeah, for sure. Do it. I mean, okay. just keep going. Cool. Don't stop, Pedro. Don't stop till you get enough. So, so here on the left, I have a bunch of scenes, so I can have stuff prepared. And for this first uh, live streaming, I invited a friend of mine, who is a producer as well. So I wanted to do more like a chat, talking about music producing and technology and composition and all that stuff. And I wanted to try out the most that I could get out, out of the software. So I really wanted to use kind of a bit of everything, so I went in and I put this video on loop. Uh, so just a small animation before people get seen the live streaming. And I have other scenes for like video clips. Some of the work 
some of the work we have done in the past years. And then whenever I talk about some of the, the artists, I could like show a link right there. And talk about the, the people related and stuff. And what else? I can also share my desktop, share any application. So I can have all these scenes ready and I can have shortcut for them. Uh, command one, command two, and I could go between different scenes. And there's another option I use. It's not shown right now because I have Skype off. Skype has a, is using a plugin, NGI, it's from New Tech. And what it does, it makes, it, it turns a video feed into a virtual webcam. So I can add someone in Skype into a conversation here in Ecamm. And it's going to help me do all the, the layout, how to put one on top of the, of the other, change, switch between speakers. And I can have one smaller. So I have all the settings that, can, that I can do. And all you have to do is set up a, call, uh, a Skype call. Whenever you receive the call, and you're going to have the option inside here to bring in the guest. I don't have Skype running right now, but if I did, it would show up here. And screen sharing, when you do screen, sh screen sharing, it's pretty cool. It automatically puts a picture in picture here. And I can choose where it comes from, which right now is my Canon N50. So you can place it anywhere you want. You can resize it. And you can hide it as well. Um, here in camera, I'm using a Canon M50, which is a DSLR camera. And it's, uh, it's kind of a budget camera because it's not very, very expensive, but it does film in 4K. And it's a pretty good camera, mirrorless. And I'm using that directly with a USB cable, a micro USB cable, just that simple, into a USB 2, two port. With that going on, I can use NDI output virtual cam. That's a driver from eCam that allows me to use uh, whatever feed I have here as a webcam in a different app. So in this case, I'm using Zoom. Let me try to show you guys Zoom. I go into settings. And here I have for video, I'm gonna have Ecom Live, Live Virtual Cam. So I have to do select this as my webcam, and I'm online. Whatever I do or switch screens in in Ecom, it's gonna show up in Zoom, Skype, or in the stream. So getting into streaming. Where is the place for streaming? Here, I have some options on the bottom right corner. And so you can stream directly to Facebook, Periscope, Twitch, YouTube, or you can add a, a key for Restream, Switchboard. And in my case, I did it for Instagram. So I went in here, added a custom key. So for doing that, I need to use a second app. It's called Yellow Duck. He, it's free, and what it does, it logs into Instagram, and it gets a stream key for you. So he's just working with the Instagram API, and he's getting a stream key back. So whenever you're, so let me show you guys Yellow Duck as well. But you had an issue the other day, right? Yeah, I'll get into that. Yeah. So what you do? Yeah, what happened to me was that I think it was a combination of factors. Actually, I had a, the, the morning I was going to do the, the live streaming. 
I say, yeah, I'm gonna do a tryout. Let's see if everything's working. And I wanted to reset my password because I wasn't sure in that moment. So I reset the password, that was one thing. And then I, I tried to stream, we got the stream key again and I couldn't do it. Uh, well, Yellow Duck was not able to log in like it is right now, like it just did. So I have a stream key. I can copy it here, place it in Ecamm. And whenever I hit go live, it's gonna be live on Instagram. So here we go. Let me open up Instagram. So yeah, it's running. Whenever I wanna finish, I can just hit finish and broadcast. And automatically it saves a file on your computer so I can see a recording of that file. And I can, whenever I hit here in Yellow Duck, save and finish, it is gonna save the video as a, as a recent Instagram streaming. It's gonna be available for later. So that's what's up with Yellow Duck. Pretty straightforward. You just get in there to get a stream key. And Ecamm also gives you a video at the end. You can share it to YouTube or can just use, use the file and edit later or do, or do whatever you want. Um, what else I can point out as a good point in Ecamm is that you can do some screen uh, calibration adjustments. You can even add a LUT, which is a look lookup table. So it can give like a special color uh, uh, final processing to your image. You can come out in brightness, saturation. So it's pretty neat to have those features. And you got a small mixer here on the bottom. So you can adjust different levels from the aggregate device I'm using in Zoom, from the movie that I'm being playing back, sound effects that I can play. And whenever you're streaming, you have a bandwidth, you have this bandwidth stat statistics, which are pretty cool, that shows what's going on, what's, what was supposed to happen, and how your network is actually delivering data. And one last thing, gosh, I feel like I've been talking for hours. One last thing for Instagram, I suggest you guys going here in preference of Ecamm and choosing the aspect ratio that's gonna look on Instagram. So then you know what's being cropped out of the image and you can just work your, all your scenes with these layouts. Yeah, I actually had a question about that because you know, I was doing my streaming with OBS through Yellow Duck when I was doing Instagram, but I couldn't figure out how to stream to Facebook at the same time, obviously, because you can only have one scene. And if your scene is the tall Instagram way in either OBS or Ecamm, there's no way to also send that out to Facebook via Lula, um, Restream, whatever. So I was just curious like if you had any thoughts on how to stream to both since Instagram is so specific with the, the look. Um, I'm, I'm not sure I understand the scenario. Well, so if you go back to the way, the tall view for Instagram, if you were yeah. multi-streaming, yeah, then Facebook would see this, right? Which you don't want, yeah. which you don't want. Yeah. So is there, because I was thinking, well, if I was streaming through like OBS or Ecamm and just had that view, the tall Instagram view yeah, on one, I then I, if I wanted to stream on Facebook, I would have to do it through the browser because I can't think of another way to be able to, to stream to both at one time and still have the full picture on Facebook. Yeah, it's, I think it's, yeah, it's hard. I think I'm thinking now maybe the best option would be to use two cameras. So you have two different camera angles. Uh -huh. Maybe you can choose like Instagram to be a bit more limited, but you're still gonna do the streaming uh, through your computer. So you can have high quality audio and also use a high quality camera. 
So maybe you can have one streaming to Instagram with one camera that has already like uh, a good composition, a good framing of you, and you do the other stuff on uh, specific for other platforms like Facebook and, and YouTube. Yeah, I just I don't know. if you have like multi cameras and you want to switch them on I know. You know, both, it's like such such a pain. Well, yeah, it's a very different layout, so. Yeah. yeah, I think we're gonna have to adapt to these different platforms. Yeah, I mean, the other option is like, you can, you can stream from zoom into Facebook. And if you are on a zoom webinar, then you can stream to a Facebook group. Right. And in zoom, you can change camera angles by I don't know, uh, I think it's command shift n or something like that. You can still have like, rudimentary camera switching going on and also have OBS or Ecamm open at the same time to stream to Instagram. That's what I was thinking about trying this. I see. Because I don't think there's a way that you can like with a key command stream, I mean, change video signals in just Facebook natively, right? I don't think so. Yeah. What does the air horn sound like? <laughs> um, <laughs> classic. Classic. Um, apparently, um, oh, Instagram has a has a less. Uh, it's not such a good audio quality as um, Facebook. Somehow, when you do live and 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 Facebook, you can leave your you know, whatever it is that you've done, it won't evaporate in 24 hours also. And it has lots of other um, tools so you can promote, you know, the video after you're done. So maybe only, uh, maybe the uh, exit, you know, the, the, the solution for this to like two lives, one for Instagram and one for uh, Facebook. Um, also, I have, um, I have an app in my mobile that's called something, movie filmmaker pro and it does kind of change aspect ratio um you can import whatever it is that you did for facebook edit and post on instagram or vice versa if you record it and it's the only downside is it's going to be two lives and it's going to be a simultaneous live but apparently um if you're going to do um live streaming as as of what i heard from you know the mo the marketing people um it's the um facebook at the moment um is, is is a good tool to use even because um everyone's using instagram so it's kind of um clogged so you know doing doing it on facebook is also an advantage at the moment so i don't i i don't have a solution for two simultaneous uh streaming but i i guess you know maybe using the, the two uh socials in, in a different way so maybe that's you know they're not meant to be used in the same way anyways yeah yeah that that's a good point so you're saying I've simplify been... wait is he saying simplify <laughs> <laughs> i was also thinking um using my cam link on my second laptop and just sending the video out to that and then streaming on facebook through my second laptop I think yeah. what what I've been doing is just yeah, kind of like you were saying, is simplify and just say what's the most important audience. Like for our podcast right now, most of our friends are watching it when we do it live. So we just do Facebook with the laptop, and then with the phone, we do uh, Instagram or YouTube. Or just, you know, we choose whichever one we're going to focus on, and then after that, it's kind of you get everybody else gets the scraps. But I guess it depends on what you're doing. Obviously, if you're trying to put out an amazing show through your phone uh, can still happen, but you know, it may not be as quality. Yeah, because what had happened with me was I was using my phone and using the iRig Duo to stream on Instagram. And then I was using OBS to stream on Facebook at the same time. And that worked well, except for the sound is has been cutting out on my iRig and I don't know why. So that's why I started thinking, okay, well, using Yellow Duck and going to OBS and doing doing it that way. Or I guess you could have 
Ecamm and OBS open at the same time. <laughs> that might be kind of crazy. <laughs> this is like I, I I don't know if I could if I could kind of change continue subjects onto another line, but yesterday I spent a bunch of time trying to like run a set and OBS. So trying to stream it, record it, and like run a live set and it was a mess. And so I'm just kind of thinking, well, maybe I need to maybe I should get the, the Atom Pro or whatever and try to put everything outside of the computer. I don't know if anybody's experienced any like good situations with OBS and trying to run like an actual set and not just like three tracks or. I've done an actual set, yeah. Like, and my set's pretty crazy already. And it's like thirty five percent, so CPU. So I, but I haven't had an issue. But I did get one of the new new laptops, so that might be helpful. Mine's 2017. Maybe just my OBS settings are really bad. I was looking at that yeah. yesterday, trying to figure it out. Yeah, maybe. That could, that could be it. Um, um, as far as my experience with audio quality on Instagram, I really can't complain. Like, sending directly for, um, from Loopback to, to the streaming software and through Yellow Duck and using phones on the, on the smartphone, I could hear it like like just fine, you know? As long as didn't clip the master, didn't do anything wrong in the, in the game chaining, I think it's, it sounded right. I didn't do any recordings to compare. I could do that, maybe that'd be cool, but totally reasonable, I think. I think it's probably when with people that are not sending high quality audio to the phones, just using the camera audios, the phone audio, and then that's, that's gonna be hard. Uh, Pedro, I have a question for you. Um, I've just, learned about ECAM, and it seems like it's an OBS on steroids. Um, yeah. Seems to have everything, and that's it looks great. So two questions I have. First of all, I see that there's a, um, there's a membership involved. Um, which did you choose, the standard or the pro? Well, the standard is $12 a month, pro is $20 a month. Yeah, so the whole reason that made me decide for Ecamm and not OBS is it was because of the camera, because I have a 4K camera and I wanted to be able to stream 4K. And it also uh, dealt with the Canon drivers, so it cleans up the HDMI. So it was just like a, a good fit for the equipment that I have in, in, in hand. But I think you can do pretty much all of this stuff in OBS. It might be a bit clumsy, you might have to work a little bit more, but you can definitely do all this stuff in OBS. So the game not, not really in my experience, because yeah. actually you can't, like you showed in your screenshot that um, Zoom uh, shows up as an output client. You can't do that in OBS. And um, you also can yeah. use yeah, you yeah. said that you mentioned Skype as well and, and all of that. You can't do that in OBS. It's definitely more professional. It's like for the, for, if you're using it professionally, I do recommend it. And I chose the pro version because that's the one that enable 4K, 4K. Yeah, video I see capture that. and streaming. And so I, I'm even using the software to record myself, like when recording a quick video. Um, I don't bother recording on the camera, SD card, and then importing the files to the computer. I just record right there on the screen because I know so I think I can get, with this cable, with this setup, I know I can get full HD 24 frames per second. That's the limitation on the USB cable bandwidth. But that's pretty Excellent. fine for me, you know, it works for me. All and right. uh, I sent them an email asking for uh, if they have any coupon to support us, uh, support our certified trainers. And yeah, I did share uh, a coupon on, the, on our group. It saves 10% on whatever you choose. I'd like to, uh, to get that coupon if possible, if it's still available. Um, one on last. Group. It's on the uh, yeah. CT group, I'll put, yeah. I'll put it right here, yeah. Thank you. Um, the last question is, I'm able to trigger my scenes. I know I, you, I notice you have a whole bunch of different graphics and 
movies and I do that as well with OBS and I trigger them using my stream deck. Um, is there a way to, uh, is there an, any native support for MIDI or stream deck uh, or anything like that for triggering scenes? Yeah, I haven't gone into that, so I can't really say. But uh, um, there was just, uh, go ahead, please. I've been, um, I've been using um, Ecamm on trial mode for two days and I'm totally in love with it. And I'm using the Elgato thing to, uh, to access it. It's really easy. It was really like, you know, um, Kitty's play to, you know, to connect everything. And I'm just um, doing the scenes in, in, on, the, on my uh, mobile phone. Are you doing it via key commands or it supports native scenes like it does with OBS? Um, I'm not so acquainted with the uh, OBS, but with the uh, Elgato thing, it, it really works uh, on both. Like it's, it's like Ecamm's already kind of made for it. Okay. They really talk to each other like really easy. Okay. Good. All right, cool. I'm sold. Yeah. I'm sold. <laughs> Is anyone taking it a step further and converting MIDI to keystrokes in from live to switch scenes? Because that's actually my next step from here. Yes. Actually, so I have. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You can hear me, guys? Yeah. Tell us. This little thing, it's like um, Jaltex, they're Argentinian MIDI controller makers, and this is an Arduino Leonardo. So I am doing this translation with this hardware. Basically, this is like a homemade version of the Stream Deck. And I'm using a Streamlabs OVS on Mac. It just released like uh, two weeks ago. And it's a, a little more eye candy. And it got all the goodies from NDI and stuff. You, you perhaps may try it. I'm sorry, what is Streamlabs OBS? Streamlabs OBS is like a different flavor of OVS. It got... Uh, if you look up at the OVS co uh, community, you can see that they have a sort of plugins. For example, on Windows, you can use um, like a device to make your streaming, your webcam and sort of stuff. In Streamlab, OVS is like a newer fork version. And they have uh, all of these things that you have to manually collect in OVS, in regular OVS, I can say. In Streamlabs OBS, they are really available. And it's like two weeks from its launch in beta. It's very early stages, but I'm using it, not ready to use it for streaming, but it's uh, giving me better results than OBS. I can cool. put Skype on Streamlabs OBS also, no biggie. And Zoom? Uh, I haven't tried that. I'm not using Zoom just for <laughs> just little things. OK, cool. Thank you. Israel, um, can you, you said that you could record your um, camera. If you had two cameras hooked up, would it record each one individually or just give you like a one feed? Um, good question, Josh. Uh, I only have one camera hooked up right now. So I don't think it's going to, I think it's only going to record the output feed. So it's going to record whatever you're outputting and not uh, the inputs. So yeah, that's what's gonna happen. I can have a bunch of stuff in there. I can have a Skype, uh, someone free. To, I can have even up to five guests on Skype. And I can have overlays and a bunch of stuff, but free cameras, whatever. All that's gonna be recorded is the output stream. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying it also does the input. Okay, got you. And there's one other thing I want to show. Yeah, I think, um, you know, the only thing that we can get through, pretty much the first thing that gets, it's audio and video. So for us looking to work professionally and get more gigs, get more jobs during this time, I think it does make a difference. Of course, it's not that. If you don't have the equipment, you can also connect and you can also uh, get things done for sure. It's how you communicate. That's the main thing. But if you can have a good video, you can have a good audio, and then you connect well to people, then, yeah, I, I've been pretty excited because 
all this stuff is very new to me, but I have been trying every bit of software, trying to get uh, all these things the best I can, and I'm seeing some, some rewards, you know? I just landed my first job consulting for live streaming. I was like, whoa, I just started learning this the other day, but I just landed a, a good job for a, like a big festival. And so that's, that's pretty much exciting. And, as, and for other things, even different lessons and stuff, so I feel it, it makes a big, big difference if you can have all these things round up. And in these times, I feel it's all about to adapt, you know? And I feel like I am adapting now. I'm feeling more comfortable in this situation. And I have more mixing jobs and more producing jobs. And I see a bunch of people that are sitting in the studio and they say, yeah, my quarantine is my life, but they're not actually moving and trying to do something something new or connect to the networks they have already or, I don't know, just use your imagination. We have a lot of resources, each and, each and every one of us, and there is always a way to adapt and keep working and keep it moving. Oh yeah, awesome. It's great. Oh, we got some yeah. <laughs> How are you, Roy? He's, he's ready are to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't logged in yet, but so, uh, we can, we can try that. We can try that. We can try that. We just need, we just need David to give me uh, the address of his, of his uh, server. Okay. Um, You're looking like Lemmy. Wait, before we jam though, I, I I wanted to finish the thought about the um, keystroke to MIDI. So yeah, MIDI stroke is definitely an option. Do you guys use keyboard, anyone use keyboard maestro? Or someone was saying, I mean, I use Bohm as well. So I think that Bohm would be the, the way to go to like convert MIDI from live into keystrokes to just be changing your cameras during your set. Anyone experience that or? And you're like, you're like, MIDI. like to send MIDI to change stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just started doing that two days ago, preparing Bohm. for one of my live streams with Bones. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it works great. I haven't actually done it straight out of like clips from live into Bones into OBS yet, but so far I've just MIDI mapped my controller. So I have like three cameras I just hit when I wanted to. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's just like manually doing stream deck. Yeah, pretty much, but I'd love to get there, so. Yeah. Hey, for sure. And then, and then, if, before we actually get to the jam, guys, I just wanted to make sure that we covered um, a couple of other things that were in the response. I have, I have one more question. Oh, you yeah. Guys, yeah. Um, do you guys know any software for um, real time uh, translations? What's what's it called? Subtitles, captions. Something uh, that I could use, like in a in an interview stream, so you can have the translations right there, the CC closed captions for everyone. I forget. I used something before. I can't remember what it was called. Yeah. All right. Uh, if anyone has an idea, please. Yeah. Share. Um. And, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, so I was gonna say, Antonio, you wanted to share about. Stream Deck and how you're using it to control Zoom, right? Uh, yes, um, I can do that. But David, like, he seems to be really I'm into it. And, I just yeah, know that, he, I just know that once we start doing that, that's going to be like the rest of the the thing. So I just want to make sure that everyone that wanted to talk and share something, Josh also wanted to share something. I I don't have time to do the rest of the thing, <laughs> really. Oh. <laughs> Because now this situation occurs again that my son wants only me to be with him when he goes to sleep. So um, I don't know if Roy is to show up here. I have to leave quite soon, as soon as possible. Yeah, and I was going to say, I, I need to go too. So unfortunately, I can't. Okay. All right. So, well, then, like, let's let's go ahead then. Go ahead and, and show us what you got. What I got? I guess I'm, I'm going to be the one who's going to share the sound. Let's see. Can you, can you hear No, me? I'm sharing the sound. I'm sharing the sound. 
So you can just okay. mute yourself because I will share. I, I run Jamulus on another computer and then my mic is in that other computer going out from that and into this computer that is doing the Zoom meeting thingy. Um, so. Wow. <laughs> There are cables all okay. over. Yes, I understand why you need to share right now. Do it. <laughs> he just rearranged his whole studio to do this. <laughs> I rearranged the studio every day these days. For the oh, and there he is. Pedro Itan is in the. Just try to play and see if it reaches that server that reaches that computer that goes into this computer and out to this Zoom meeting. That would be sweet. I don't get anything. I should get something. <laughs> oh. That was Roy. Already impressed. But, um, coming from me. <laughs> I guess you're hearing my mic. Mic! It's mic. a bit low, but uh, okay then. One, two, three, kick! <laughs> Spin time, Roy. Send more signal. It's really low. Maybe should have rehearsed this before we, you know. This is like when you walk into the venue and like the band is 45 minutes behind schedule. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, is this a show? We're not really sure. <laughs> it's like, have they started? There's something there.
Are you in, Pedro? I really can't hear you guys. Why is that? Oh, we can't hear you, Pedro. Maybe he can't hear us. He should hear me. <laughs> I don't know if he you, hears you, but he hears me through channels. I'm quite sure. And we hear Pedro. Ah, this is nice. times I've tried um, and now we're listening to like three copies of myself Wait. pop 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 um, the thing is even if you have a slight latency of 20 milliseconds or something when you're jamming with other people and you're um, trying to be in time with them it always feels like you're gonna adjust to someone who's a bit behind so it's easy to just you know drift or you know um, drop in tempo uh, or something but you have something that is really steady and machiney and it could be a beat or it could be an arpeggio or anything something that doesn't move uh, then everyone uh, well binds themselves to that so to speak so yeah. I was working with machinery for a second. Yeah. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> um, till next time, we could try um, how this would... Um, um, how to set this up the best way to also uh, route it through Zoom, because I 
oh, what I, um, I've been thinking here, but every, I can't, I can't do a beat and do the server and the Zoom thing. Uh, I don't know. Just another thing. Uh, all of these uh, loopbacks and the Zoom audio device and whatever f to run, like um, to run your audio um, in the same computer. I think that's. Um, if possible, not to do that because every millisecond counts in this. So you just have to have like the lowest buffers and the lowest everything, optimize everything. So it's just the internet fiber left. Then it's doable, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, but if you on your side also has, um, it, it takes 40 milliseconds for the sound to ever exit your house, even then, of course. Uh, because uh, all these internal routing things introduces latency. So, um, playing real instruments into a sound card with really low buffer is the main choice, I think, um, to jam. But, well, it was worth a shot. Question for you. Next week, you routed David, for instance, like. Now oh, I lost you. Hello. All right. <laughs> I, see I see you. you. Laura, Laura, are you, are you there? there? Yeah. We, we lost you there for a minute. Oh. Next time, David, you said. <laughs> and then what? Oh, you hear me? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, if we take your loop back, like, so if we just hear, if you take over the Zoom, and we route from Jamulus through loopback into Zoom, then we should be able to actually hear what you're hearing. But that's what you're doing. Now you, every, everything is from me, but not through any right. loopback or anything. It's from another computer into the sound card. So my voice now is going first into another computer. So everything I, the microphone in Zoom is another computer's output. Oh, I see. So, okay, uh, uh, yeah. You already did that, okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm, so, but I don't know why we didn't get any any drums or Roy had some uh, routing issues. I think, but I don't know. Um, I am getting like three hundred eighty milliseconds, so it was yeah. a bit hard for me to mm, jump in. Uh, did Roy have? I'm on twenty two milliseconds. How much you got, Roy? Uh, you know. <laughs> he, <laughs> he routed himself quiet. away, I think. <laughs> yeah, not here anymore. Not here anymore. Okay. okay. So, how, how much latency do you got there? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Left side, cool. Latency, 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 uh, 33. Yeah. I'm good, I'm good. So, not so bad. Not it's almost like if your time in the day is uh, <laughs> is sort of similar, then the time in Jamulus is sort of okay. But if you're in different time zones, it's worse. <laughs> yeah, I think when, when Pedro, this, this is what, what I heard now, when, when he came, I started heard the, the flickering. Mm. That's all I know. Yeah, you, you, you must expect dropouts when doing this as well. Uh, it get crackles uh, at times and whatever uh, but um, yeah that's the only time i heard it like when i, I when i jammed with the guys from europe it was flawless and mm -hmm. it was yeah. like once in a half an hour uh, like a small flicker but not like now this was like heavy now mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah yeah we need to have we need to find uh, some kind of solution or maybe wait for corona to end and then bring pedro to europe Uh, I'm really sorry. I really have to leave now, but um, it was nice trying. And I see you again another time. Coming, David. I'll see you next week, maybe. Yep. I hope same so. Same time, same place. Same. Time. <laughs> same internets. Yeah. <laughs> um, everyone else can stay on for for a little bit more. Bye, people. Um. See you, man. So. See you.
Josh, you wanted to share some stuff, right? Yeah, I just I thought like uh, when I filled it out last night, I was thinking about people who are just trying to do it simply. Um, and just you know, kind of like you were saying. Yeah. Hooking up the the iRig and your iPhone and then just going. And have you had any issues with your iRig? Because the the issue I have usually is when I plug it in. I think it's noticing the iRig and then it's not. Right. That's what ha was happening. It was like you would hear a good signal and then it would drop and then you hear the good signal drop. But I, I don't know if that's because maybe because I haven't changed the batteries, but I've been plugging it in. So I thought it was charged by my phone. So you shouldn't have to have, I mean, it should be one or the other, right? So are you, you're, are you plugging into the wall or are you talking about like charging them beforehand? No, I'm not. Did you, did yours come with a adapter? No, it didn't come with a You can use a I mean, just USB unmute, yeah. hub I mean, with a power adapter. You're using I'm using I'm using the um, my volts and uh, I also have a uh, nine volts uh, somewhere but let's see um, let me grab this and this uh, I wonder if I could do this without moving stuff nope hold on look it up is that a trick yes I oh love it and it's weird and i need to get another one i use it on all my live shows oh i just use God. it with pressure and that's it that's like the the original wow you don't know like that's uh, probably gonna be worth a lot now and yeah and that's why i'm I'm i've kept it for one and i need to find another and we should we shouldn't discuss that it's rare so that the price doesn't go up <laughs> before right. i get a second one <laughs> Yeah, I just, I just use, cause my, my hands are too big for like encoders. So I just use the pressure to um, do all the live effects and then yeah. I can just press down on it. So I was, uh, I was working in M audio when Chad Carrier, uh, when that came out, I'm not, yeah, shut up. Uh, I need a new mic stand as well. Revolutionary. It's and, yeah, and it's still amazing. I know. Like these. These are dinosaurs because they can control hardware and they can control software, which a lot of things don't do nowadays. Yeah. All right, let's see. I should have set this up earlier and my place is trash. That's okay, so, I'm like putting you on the spot. We're like- So hey, Laura, uh, well, not... set up. well, Josh set ups. Uh, I think it can be a good idea if you use an, an USB hub. What's your, what's your front or a lightning uh, hub? And if you can have a power adapter and you plug it in, yeah. So you can have both both the iRig, yeah, and the and the smartphone, and they will have like real steady power. So that's always a good option. Yeah, I I guess I'll, I'll try to find the um the power adapter unless someone wants to chat it to me to save me time. Um, I it's funny. I was like, I think I used the my volts on mine, but I forgot to look up and make sure which if it was positive or negative so i do not want to actually plug it in um because i i fried my one of my honey tones the, the other day by plugging a negative into a positive so oh. uh yeah so yeah it's just the irig and a mic and i've got it plugged in you know simple into input one and i think that the, the big thing that i've figured out is just plug it in first and that before you open up anything so i'm getting the unlock your you probably can't see that unlock your phone to view accessory thing and that's where i know that at least it's currently <laughs> connected so i've got to unlock it to get access to it and i should let's see if i go to you can we see here so it's blank right now which is kind of scaring me. Um, but if I go to YouTube, let's hope. So I'm just doing the live. Uh, there's underbelly. I'm just doing the live uh, button here in the middle. And then, uh oh, 
So it should light up. So I'm kind of having the issue that you were talking about, Laura. Like by now, it should have been lit up and know that uh, it's connected. So now I'm wondering if my battery died in the, it's been unplugged for a while. So the other thing about these duos is I found that I've read that the batteries get drained super fast. Yeah. So in the time I was testing last night, I might have drained the whole battery. So let me see. I've got a bunch of other, thankfully before all I, this. I found that I had to turn the, the gains all the way down. Before you plug, like, oh, because it's no, just, just clipping too, already? Too hot, yeah. Usually, I feel like I have to turn them up. I'm just, really? are you go, you're talking about going out of, are you going out of your, like, interface on your laptop or just plugging in a mic or something? Yeah, I'm going out of the interface. I do have headroom. Okay, yeah. But I don't know. Oh, yeah, it was the batteries. They were already dead. Uh, what I so usually, it's, like, I go to, like, just try to record a, a regular video and just make sure that I'm getting the sound that way. Yeah, so that's another thing. Um, my, oh, yeah, I use uh, Audio Share. I don't know if anybody has Audio Share. This thing is, Audio Share is amazing. You can uh, record into it. You can normalize, trim, export as Wave, I think FLAC, um, a bunch of different formats. Um, so I can go in here and let's see it is not connected currently so there's a settings and i could see if there's a settings and then there's hardware settings i should be able to oh what's laura saying Oh. I'm just telling Roy, okay, no, you keep uh, going. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I thought there was a way to, it's still not, let me unplug it. So this is the classic unplug, <laughs> plug it back in. Wait, can you explain this audio share app again? I don't. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty much like an uh, audio utility app. So let me, here, let me just unplug this right now. So just using ta me talking to a phone. So I have a bunch of different stuff I've recorded in here. I record ideas. Um, I've recorded, you know, music and stuff like that. So I could just hit, you can make folders and all sorts of stuff. Um, but if I just hit record, I get a nice little window here with monitoring. Check one, two, one, two, see. And then I can do a bunch of settings. I could set monitoring here, levels. I can add effects, um, so the the AUs and the other ones I can't remember, and then I can go in here in settings. I can select wave, AIFF, whatever that's called, CAF or however you pronounce it, uh, M4A. You know, I can choose those settings. So I usually choose wave. You can do mono stereo up to 32 bit, um, 96k. You can normalize it all just within the app. And so you can get really high quality recordings just off of this. And then I just hit record and I say, hey, you know, this is me saying a bunch of junk. And then it'll save it. I can go into tools and I can normalize. I could trim. You can put fades on it. I can even loop it. I just hit record. I just hit record. I just hit record. I just hit record. And so it does all this right in here, then I can save it. It'll make a new file and you can do all that just within this app. So a lot of times cool. I'll just use this to record simple things. And then I could just export it to, I could email it to friends, text, you know, airdrop, all that stuff. Um, and it also works with, I don't know if you guys know AUM, which is a iOS uh, mixer essentially it'll uh, import or export to that. So you can record whole projects in AUM and then you can open them up in here and further edit them and stuff. So this is, this is a 
probably a lot cooler than the streaming part in some ways. <laughs> but, um, that is cool. So um, Joe over on Facebook was just asking, are you using this to record a qu high quality recording while you're streaming? He's talking about you. If he, if you could do audio share while streaming, are, is that what you're using for? Or are you just testing with it? Oh no no no! I was saying when you were talking about testing the audio, you That's, could do that through yeah, yeah, yeah. audio share and see if yeah. that works. Check one two. It's kind of weird. Like I'm getting a single. I wonder if you could record. Check. Woo, woo, woo. But that would, that's actually a good idea, Joe, to record. Yeah, that's app. actually a good idea to test because mm -hmm. then you can get the full, the full thing, um, and yeah, the full audio. It's weird. I'm getting signal on one, but whenever I tap the mic, it's not really changing. So I'm kind of huh. confused about <laughs> why that is. But let's let me just try it. Let me just see if it works. I'll go over um to youtube and then as everything i'll do test unlisted no this isn't for children it's always a weird setting i don't i'm like it's not for children but it's not not for children it's kind of weird uh <laughs> I'm like yeah I'm, it's like when you say the word adult books it's just like yeah they're for adults but it's not that kind of adult books um tests Unlisted. Did I answer the question? No, it's not made for kids. Okay, next. So let's see if I can go and stream. I can hopefully send this link thumbnail. My eyes. Uh, let's go live. Rotate landscape. All right, let's see. Let me get the stream link and see if I can share it here. Copy link. Send it to myself. Then I'll send it to you guys and we'll see if I'm getting any quality audio and not audio straight from the iPhone. Come on, me. Send it. There we go. Chat. Am I? It says I'm live, but I don't see myself on screen. I just heard something. Hello? That's what, always the awkward thing. Like, you're like, am I live yet? <laughs> oh, and like, and then, the very beginning of it. It's like it trying to end a Zoom call. You're like, bye, bye, bye. And you're like, where's the end meeting? Nope, I'm not getting any audio. You're live, man. I can see you, you. You can't hear my voice, though. No audio, though, yeah. No. And that's kind of the thing, like you were saying, Laura, like it seems kind of, I feel like when I first got this, it would work pretty well. I I wonder if, hey. got it. What about, can you hear my voice now? Uh, for a moment it worked and then it cut, cut out again. Oh, oh yeah, I can kind of hear that. So your, your audio sounds crazy now. On the, on the stream, on the YouTube stream? Or on here? Uh uh, oh, is that what it like? oh wow yeah i don't know what that is um is that in zoom maybe hold on let me mute right. oh yeah it it's in the youtube you static that's a static Let me try one other thing real quick. I'm gonna try and switch cables just in case. Oh, it's still crack. It's still crackly, and I'm not. Oh, uh, maybe it's delayed. Like I've. 
It might just be the people on Facebook uh, are wondering. So Pedro was actually listening to Josh's stream, and that's why his audio sounds fucked up, not because Pedro oh. fucked up. Hold on, let me switch. It might be the I've pl unplugged it, so I'm like maybe it's the duo. Maybe my duo's funky. Because there's nothing plugged into it, or is it? Oh, it's just Pedro's crackling. Hold on. I'm crackling. I'm crackling. Yeah, it was on YouTube. We just muted the YouTube channel, and it's. Oh yeah, I was I was for on you guys. I got it. Yeah, Pedro is feeding uh, YouTube's audio to us, I guess. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello. What's going on? <laughs> what? What's happening? No, we're just, I'm just being silly. Oh, okay. I thought something crazy was happening when I plugged in the other mic. Is anybody hearing uh, me on the YouTube stream? Uh, no? I can kind of, I kind of hear a faintness of myself somewhere. Still crackling, but I can hear your voice now. Oh, you can. Well yeah. then. Impromptu tutorial completed. Level two unlocked. So yeah, that's how simply not simply it is. I've, I think there's some sort of, I don't know if it's the duo or I had some cable issues when I was podcasting. So I need to order new cables as well. But um, yeah. Well, yeah, in theory, that's how the um, <laughs> the theory. is supposed to work. And now that now that you're backing me up on the fact that it kind of yeah, is it's... a little shitty, now I'm like, okay, do I even? I, I just think... I just want to order the cable on Amazon, and like, do I even want to order this, or should I just get the roll and go? Because like, actually, Joe just asked if anyone had the roll and go mixer. Does anyone here use that? Oh, uh, okay, no, no. The, I think I think it was like when it came out, possibly it worked flawlessly. And then obviously iOS probably, I think it's maybe it was 11 at the time. So it's like iOS 11 changes 12 and 13. Maybe it's just weird. And they've come out with new versions. I don't know why I'm holding this. I could stop my stream. They've come out with new version, uh, a version two of this. So that could be a little bit different. So could look into that maybe. Alvaro on Facebook says, so it's a great app to make some trip hop. <laughs> what are you talking about, the, the audio share? I guess so. Or I don't know what he's talking about. Or the crackling we just did. The crackling app. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what the app is talking about. But um, well, theoretically, that is how it works. In theory. <laughs> just, just like communism. It works in theory. <laughs> Oh man. Um, okay. Well, so I think Roy wanted to to try Jamulus. Let's try it again. If you're not uh, if you're not already fed up with the with the trying. Uh, I'd will, actually just have... have one more question before we go into. I will that. have to go soon, but yeah. Oh yeah. Go ahead, Peter. Um, I wanted to know your guys' experience on other platforms besides YouTube and Instagram, and Facebook, of course, because. Um, I think like most of our audience right now are in Instagram, but at the same time, I think that it's not ready for the kind of thing, the kind of content that we are offering. And I've I've tried Twitch for the first time, just checking it out, seeing w what it was like, and it's yeah, it's really like it seems for me nine percent for gamers, and there's like a, a, a good section for music then it's like nine percent for djs and and then some other stuff but it's a very i don't know it has a very unique culture for the gaming culture so but and also for monetizing that's the most thing do you have any experience in other platforms and monetizing i know lara made a there's a there's one of these docs that has a bunch listed i haven't gone through them yet but i'd like to get hear guys input I yeah, had, uh, I might be too oh. old for Twitch, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I think the thing for Twitch, like I, I uh, consulted with an artist that do, that does Twitch a lot, and I think 
the thing she told me is like you just gotta you gotta make a schedule and you gotta be there and i think it's it's more of a community where you're the leader so you know you're gonna be on there like two hours and you're it's not just log on and then you got to be like, hey, what's up, blah, blah, blah. I'm thinking about making a track, like what kind of drum should I use and blah, blah, blah. And they're like, oh, I really like so-and-so. That's He's got sick drums. And you're like, oh, okay, cool. It's like, send me those samples. And then you're kind of like working with them and interacting with them. Um, and then she does it like, I think about every week or something like that. And then she'll do covers. She'll do like all sorts of stuff. So I think for me personally, I, I've been thinking of, okay, how, do, how does that look for me? Because I'm not the great, like I can play bass, I can play drums, but she plays keyboards, plays guitar. So she, you can kind of, she could dance around all sorts of instruments and do so, all sorts of things in like two or three hours. So I think like from my understanding, the way that she's told it to me is that um, it's really just kind of figuring out how to be consistent and then really play like a, uh, do like a long form thing and not just hop on, do a performance, hop off. So, yeah. Cool. You guys, yeah, in your, you guys have Hesperity on in a different platform besides Twitch? And about monetization? How are you gonna make money if you're our label able to put on like a good live show? How can you profit on it? Is it possible? Is it a legend? Well, in my experience, I have an online course in Spanish in it's something like Udemy or Linda and stuff, but it's, you know, it's uh, aimed for the Spanish talkers. So it, now it's got like 2,000 and a half students. And so I, I use the different platforms in different ways. For Instagram, it's more like casual stuff. On Facebook, I go Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, two hours, and I pick the questions from the people that connects, make some, you know, dynamics like Giorgio we were talking about. So it's like, I already have a product there, and I just give free lessons, you know, for engagement. That's how I can manage to survive. <laughs> cool. I did saw on one show, a few shows on Twitch, and it was Splice TV. So they kind of choose and Twitch has a platform to broadcast their stuff. And, and I saw, and they, they have a really good looking show. It's like a, a real TV show and it's going on during the current quarantine. So I think, yeah, it seems like a, a really good reference as for like a, a big company, how to, how to communicate. It seemed quite interesting to me, but yeah, I think if you're jumping into Twitch, you are gonna have to connect, right? You have to gonna speak their language, speak the language of the audience and how they're interacting with that platform. Yeah, it, I, I thought about jumping on there, but I'm just like so busy doing all, all the things too. So I'm like, oh, not another platform, but I don't know, it'd be, it'd be cool. The monetization thing though, I think is, you know, interesting. I do know that they take quite a large percentage. I don't know what it is, but it definitely takes a percentage of your earnings, right? Does anyone know? Well, I don't know. I don't know. We need to get Claire back on here next week. She's the which Yeah. <laughs> Ernesto. And do you send us some links? I'd love to see your Yes. Your your classes. Yes. Um, I've also been watching um, Josh, but Josh Tutor, and he's a certified trainer, and he's he's going off on Instagram Live and Zoom. He's making like these hangouts in Zoom, where he goes over technical stuff, producing and stuff. And I thought that was really interesting. I also thinking about doing that, choosing some afternoons and just like, well, I'm mixing this song today. I'm just gonna share it with you guys, you know bring up some content live and try to interact a bit more. Hell yeah. Um, all right, I guess, did we want to go, I guess before we go back to Roy, did anyone else wanna like plug anything else that you've got going on right now, like online for people to check out? 
I'm actually doing like a beat flip tonight with Future Sound. It's at eight o'clock PST. There's a Facebook group about it. And I'm also doing a three day event, the 27th through the 29th called Design Your Dream Online Live Show. And that's free for anyone to come through. And I'm gonna have artists, uh, different artists that I've worked with them on their live sets come through and we're gonna discuss the process and hang out and talk about performing online. So that's the 27th through the 29th. And then of course we'll be doing these every Saturday at this time. Anyone else wanna say anything else about what, what you're doing? Now's the time to pitch yourself. Josh is thinking, Josh has got a podcast, right? I do, yeah. Yeah. It's called, Hey, We Just Saw a Movie. Very, very simple. We uh, watch movies, we talk about it, me and my wife. And so it's fun. We're obviously doing stuff for Netflix and Hulu and all that. So uh, <laughs> if you're interested, yeah, do, uh, Hey, We Just Saw a Movie. You can type in the Google show up, but we're on Spotify. Uh, uh, hey, we just saw Same on Instagram. Um, and what is it? Apple podcast. So yeah, we've done, we did the platform. We did, we released an old stuff like eighth grade was our first ever, uh, podcast. So yeah, a bunch of other, uh, any new movie that came out before the quarantine, we saw most of it. So if you want to go back through that catalog and when we've got another one coming next Thursday. Sweet. Cool. Anyone else want to plug something? Ernesto? Yes. Uh, well, actually, I am like, uh, as I told you before, I got this online course. And it's like, it just pick like uh, one or two weeks before this quarantine thing here in Latin America. So it's got me in a good mood and it forced me to make more content. And I'm really struggling, but in a good way, struggling, like finding out, as you guys say, how to make content for different platforms. So I am aiming to do some Twitch, maybe just, you know, doing a track from start to finish. And it's a very long thing. Uh, uh, people can uh, follow me at uh, Malaka Music. I just put in, in the internal chat here my links if you want to check it out. I only do content in Spanish because it's like the community that I grow with. Um, but uh, if there is some information, if you need something, just hit me up. Hi. Cool. Also, uh, I'll plug my, if you, sites down, but still on YouTube, Producers Kitchen, I have a bunch of tutorials, Ableton and hardware stuff. And a lot of them are, there's some of them are basic, but a lot of them are hitting the weird kind of demographic that wants to do kind of weird stuff a little bit in live. So um, yeah, producer's kitchen, check that out on YouTube. Nice. Well, yeah, I had a feature on output from out today, like a video. Yeah. So definitely check out output.com. Um, Laura's everywhere. <laughs> Try. All of my Facebook feed. I'm like, dang, she's everywhere. Internet. She's doing it on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's easier cost no house. gas <laughs> no gas no no you know you just pay your internet and you, you're yeah, good to you go know. yeah it's actually it's interesting i had to like fully like lay everyone off at my company so i was trying to keep a little skeleton crew going on but so i'm laying myself off actually <laughs> interesting <laughs> as a business Weird owner times. so sort of weird like, times for sure. yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just ready to get that uh unemployment you know that un unemployment and i still have my educational stuff that i'm doing you know which is which is a thing but the concert stuff is definitely not a thing so for that you, side is shutting down for the you time. um so you had to or did you apply for like the small business unemployment I, I don't know did. The, the ppp yeah i didn't get it because i went through chase and all the big banks took all the money and gave it to the, the bigger corporations and yeah, yeah. potbelly really needed it i found out what did you say 
Potbelly really needed that money. Uh, the the sandwich chain, they oh, got yeah. it, and a couple other people. Dave and Buster, like all these, yeah, just the small businesses. I mean, I don't, I know one person that got it for their business, and then everyone else. Like, uh, I did get the EIDL, which is, you know, it's something. It's just a grant, you know. They give you a thousand dollars per employee, basically. Um, not everyone got that, so I am thankful to have gotten that. But other than that, yep, it's uh, more and more people are filing for unemployment. Businesses are shutting down this week because they didn't get it, you know. So it's crazy. It's like I was first in line too. I was like, talked to Chase. My banker called. I filled everything out. I had everything ready, and they're like, "All right, you were like really like the first." among the first people to have applied but it's it's not based on where you're at in line it's whoever they choose you know got to get to know some senators <laughs> right yeah if any senators are watching this <laughs> but they do okay. need help getting online because i heard that they can't figure that right. out <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're, we're moving forward you know forward um all right anyone else want to play anything if not then we're gonna get a yeah real quick one quick yeah. note i have a request for our all you guys uh yeah. doing a voice memo remix type so i'm asking everyone to send me a sample a uh, small recording of anything pretty much anything in your voice anyone that's out there is watching just Send me a sample, send me an interesting sound you find, an odd sound, a good sound. Please send me, and you can send me here at my Instagram. Let me make it a little bigger. And also, I'm going to be putting the, the output here, and you can also check some of my works, my production work, if you guys are interested. And if you're a singer and if you're a rapper or you want to put something out and you think it's not possible right now, uh, it is possible. Hit me up. Uh, I can show you how to get a good microphone and record yourself at home. And I can work on the rest here. So let's get creative. Let's make music. That's my pub. Yeah. <laughs> I love how you put that. can put that on your screen. Is, is that with Ecamm or? Yeah, that's Ecamm. Yeah, nice. Hey. You're selling us e Ecamm very quickly. I'm the <laughs> I'm the, the selling boy from Ecamm, yeah. Yeah, we need some affiliate links for Ecamm and like Loopback and every other software that we're plugging week for after week. For sure. Yes. Like, tons of people are, are using those softwares now. That's because how of we us. can make money. We can make like a dollar every time we talk about Ecamm. <laughs> that works. That works. <laughs> It'll be, we'll just pretty much turn into a podcast. We'll like stamps.com. <laughs> oh my God. It's hilarious. All right. Cool. Well, Roy, do you want to um, show us some more, some jamulus right, right quick? I do have to go in a few minutes, but your mic is really low. Really low. Let's try. No. Ah, yes. yes. Yeah. So tell me if you can hear this. Yes. Yeah, okay. So let me share my screen. Uh, so I think now when we are not streaming through Brazil, it might work a bit better. Uh, even though I really like to play with Pedro. So let's see. Uh, do you see my screen now with the Jamila server? This one. You see it? Yes. Okay. So now. Yes. yes. I'm going to pick a server. First of all, I'm going to open Jamila, so we're going to hear the noise that these guy, guys make. So let's go to this one, because it's it's only with three people. And it's this thing. Let's see if we can hear it. Ah, they're only talking. Yeah, that's not so interesting. Let's go, let's go here, maybe um, six people. Can you hear it? Yeah. Yeah. So that's how they sound. Now it's flickering. Yeah. It's a 
part of part of the show, guys. Part of the show. Yeah. Actually, this is how we can make money: streaming other people's jamulus, just spying streaming. on them and streaming their performances. Other people streaming. Yeah. And the, what I did like to do, I like to go like with server with two people. But they are sleeping there. Let's see if they're sleeping. So they're a bit sleeping. So what I'm doing, I'm gonna uh, put some drum beat here. I'm gonna play some bass line. It's actually pretty cool because I sometimes forget gem loose open and just someone just like hit something on the other side like whoa there's someone there let's play let's jam i think i see socal synth on jamulus because i just opened up mine it's socal jam from san diego probably yeah that's kind of that's really cool actually so someone is playing with me there can you hear him can you hear him yeah, with the guitar when I answer him. Yeah, yeah, I can hear that. Wow. I'm just like recording it. This guy is, is listening right now, but it will take uh, like uh, five to ten minutes until people will come there. Or they will hear it. They will react to it. Yeah, it's playing. It's playing a bit. Can you can you see it? Yeah, yeah. I see it now. Yeah, yeah. It's playing with me. Bring Martin Luther King, where is he?
I can't really hear him. Yeah, a little bit. Let's make me lower. Yeah, now I can hear him. Can, can you hear him now? Yeah, like really low. Yeah, or like a melody. Because he's very, uh, very, very uh, shy, I guess. Yeah. Uh, there you are. I think he can, he can hear me saying that he's shy. Don't be shy, man. Hit it on! Late like there's no tomorrow, man. So that's how it is. Now we get the flickering. I think it's Pedro. Pedro is here. Pedro is in the building. No, he's not here. He's not here. But I got. I have one say to one thing to say to you, Brian. Right, Wait. Let, let me let me tell him to stop. Hey, stop it! No. It's connecting. That was nice. It was cool. Play nicely. That's cool. Yay. Wow, amazing. Uh, cool, huh? And this is how you can you can really go deep and deep you just you just and, and it really helps you i think uh, when you're using uh, when you're using uh, uh, Ab ableton and, and create like loops and loops and loops it really uh, helps you also to get new new ideas because you have people like like uh, co communicating with you and you can also re record them and sample it because it's all it's all free so you can uh, you can use whatever you can of course write them you're doing stuff but until now, I just recorded and I had really, really nice jams. Until now. it's like it's been like a week of a few not really, really nice jams. So I'm really looking forward to see you guys, Laura. You, you're coming there with the violin. Hit us on. Yeah. yeah, that would be awesome. Well, maybe yeah, let's next week. Let's figure out a couple of topics, um, like we talked about over chat, Roy. I think we can start to structure it a little bit more. And so you guys have topics. I know there's not that many of us left on this thing, but specific topics or things we want to show. And then maybe we can try to get the get Jamulus going again. And we'll just keep doing it. We'll just keep meeting. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Turning it out. I, it was really nice to see you guys. And looking forward for the for next, next week. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Peter had a question. What's up, Peter? Oh yeah, I'm gonna be live on Sensel's YouTube on Thursday. Um, so Peter's asking, is Jamulus audio going into Ableton or was it only from the Jamulus app? Only from the app, right? going to my, uh, it, it went to my uh, monitor in my sound card. So they won't uh, hear themselves through me. Uh, but I can also route it to, to Ableton. Thanks for using the uh, loopback. Mm -hmm. I can also yeah. reroute it and use it as well as an input. It was actually I I actually used the the input. I just route it. When I can show it real quick. Um, you want to show it? Yeah, it looks like that. And I'm annoyed now. I don't know if that's here it is. I'm here, I'm here. So we actually heard that. Oh. 
It was nice. If you're if you're running a mixer, a hardware mixer, you could essentially do this all outside, right? Yeah, yeah, that would be uh, nice to do it as well. Because I find the loopback a bit a bit uh, a bit com not not so complicated, but it doesn't work. Like, like Laura said, sometimes it it, it doesn't work, and actually uh, you need to put it on off because uh, when you close the, the the program, it's still working in the background. Yeah. The stuff. So you really need to to uh, put it on off uh, in order for it really to stop routing or stuff. Yeah, it's, Mr. Bill is using the Yamaha AG03 mixer interface. So I know that some people are do using the audio, I mean, the hardware. So. I think that's my fear with all of this stuff is I'm downloading all these programs to get all these things online. Like I got Steam now on my computer and all this stuff and I'm thinking, well, what is all? Who else running in the background and kind of like screwing up the rest of my day? Definitely got to be careful about yeah loop back. But even earlier when I opened it, I didn't have any of my presets on. They were all off, but it still like fucked up my microphone, and I had to turn my Apollo off. So I don't know. But here's for experimentation. You know, it's still a lot totally. better than trying to do it inside your Mac, like the uh, aggregated, uh, aggregated, which uh, many times fails. Yeah. What about what? Black Hole? Have you guys tried Black Hole? I have. Um, it, it it works fine. I haven't done it extensively, but I did. Uh, I did a stream a couple of weeks ago. I I was uh, my voice was uh, doubled for some reason. I still haven't figured that out. But other than that. Hmm. It's probably user error. <laughs> I think I'm going. I'm going to check this one from Dan, the one that he showed. I'm going to check it. If it's more stable. Oh, yeah, the siphon yeah. one. Yeah, the one that he just uh, gave us. The Sound list, but... siphon, yeah. Yeah, let's try that. Have, have you guys checked uh, audio? Uh, so yeah, it's called Jack Audio Connection Kit. I'm going to put it on the link yeah. below. Yeah. Yeah. Windows, okay. the Windows. Right. Yes, Windows, right? I have used it in cross platforms actually in Windows. I use it first on Linux and it has this fancy like loopback style. You can add it some some goodies. Uh, and I was not acknowledged that it was available on Mac and Windows. I just use it on Linux and it works wonders, very low latency. So perhaps for next week I can do some experiments. I can share it with you guys because it's cross platform and that's a good thing, I guess. Yeah, I want to try Jack as well. It's pretty, like, solid, you think? Uh, yes, when I was using it back in my days in Linux, I used Debian and I used Ardor, the digital workstation that was at the time better built. And I was uh, using my Sapphire LE uh, Firewire interface and it works wonders. I can route everything just like we do on Loopback. Yeah, and Jack has been going for years with Linux, right? So it's like a real, I think it's pretty solid. Yeah, uh, Peter says Jack works serious hassle on Catalina, though. I think everything's a hassle on Catalina. Oh, for yes. Sure. For sure, yeah. I just have High Sierra. I am not wanting to upgrade. Yeah. But actually, the problem with the latest are the security that, that you have to like jump you know you have to go to enter some code in re uh, recover mode it's like fragile for the system you know to do that there's also problem with Catalina that it's 100 percent 64 bit and some software uh, tends to have problems with that with running only on 64 and this is why it's so it's so That's hard true. to uh, use the stuff that we were used to to have it running f flawlessly it's, it's not working even for really great, great companies like, like I, Isotope and Native Instruments, not fluent. Um, and words from our sponsor. I just want to. Use. <laughs> we need, we need to get sponsored. We get sponsored. Jack, we need to get affiliate links, and we need sponsors. Um, Peter, if you guys want to check out the chat later, Peter is talking about um, CCRMA and and Jeff. Yeah, both. 
we talked about them doing sessions with JackNet. So that is cool. Um, I gotta go. I gotta bounce. Um, I gotta get ready for my sound check. <laughs> my show that I'm doing. Wow. I, I gotta get ready for my 45 shows. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I put the link in the chat if someone wants to join tonight. I'm gonna be flipping some beats that I haven't even heard yet, so I gotta like download them. Nice. <laughs> Figure nice them up. out. Um, but yeah, thank you guys as always. Thank you guys. Awesome. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in Facebook and YouTube. Both. Don't forget my samples, you guys. And I'm gonna send you something. Yeah, I already got some on Instagram. Some people are sending me. Please, okay. please, anything, any oh. type of sound. Just record it real quick, send me. Okay. Right. And someone on YouTube um, is saying that they have Ernesto's course. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's that's related quickly. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's awesome. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. Nice to see you all. Nice to see you all. It was great to see you guys. Thank you. Yeah, see you next week. See you all next week. Yes, next week.